Here this video is going to be about Torben Seneca, who is uh, the leader of the last reformation. In other words, he is the leader of the last reformation in the entire world. <laughs> Incredibly. I'm not going to comment on his ministry. I'm not going to comment on um, the fact that he goes out healing and praying for other people. Um, I, I don't have much reason to believe that he's associated with the, the ecumenical movement in the Catholic Church, but I could be wrong. But what we're definitely going to explore here is Torben's teachings. Now in this case, uh, you had a woman, I believe that she went to the last reformation in Brazil, and she met her husband there. She's going to get married to this guy. But Torben discovers that uh, both of them had previously been divorced. And so my understanding of, uh, just listen to the woman here, there was no meeting. There was just a simple comment from Torben that the, they can't get married again because they've been divorced, which is a false teaching. It's an absolutely false teaching. Uh, this teaching obviously isn't very clear within the church you know there's a very high divorce rate within the church these days and yet you know this teaching is uh, not clear so in a way you can admire Torben by trying to take the stance that you know uh, okay they've been divorced and uh, but what does Jesus say about it well this is what I've quoted let's just read from Mark 10 and 11 it simply says Jesus saith unto them, Whoever shall put away his wife and marry another commits adultery against her. Okay, so it's the person who is divorcing the man or the woman, and if the woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she commits adultery. And so if it's in a man's mind to put away his wife for any reason that's not biblical, other than fornication, which which comes under spiritual or physical fornication, which I'll explain. And the same for the woman, um, she's born again, and you know there's there's no other reason uh, why, you know, she had to put away her husband. Maybe he was committing adultery. Maybe he was having a sexual union outside the marriage covenant. If that's indeed did what they have you know uh, I don't believe in these marriage contracts but I believe in a marriage covenant again that's uh, I believe in a biblical marriage covenant a covenant as in what what Jesus has with his church um, because we are to reflect you know the the relationship between Christ and the men of the church and the and the men who are the heads of the relationship and the women of the church but that's not how the church today is actually uh, um, demonstrating marriage um, so the point here is that there has to be a reason of divorce for those who don't know me, um, I am a disciple of Jesus Christ, and uh, I am uh, in Brazil right now, which is my country. Um, the gospel of Jesus Christ to many people, and uh, God has called us to be here in Brazil and uh, preach the true gospel, and this is what we've been doing, and it's been an amazing journey, and uh, God has been doing so many things. We have uh, had... A okay, so rather amazingly, uh, since this video... Torben has begun to cancel a lot of uh, his healing crusades and he's focusing more on preaching the gospel. Isn't that strange? Uh, it's almost like he's got gotten convicted that uh, maybe he's done certain things wrong. Maybe he's uh, man-managed, as it were, dealt with certain people wrongly and thought that it's wrong for divorcees to get married again when Jesus clearly says this other scriptures but there is reasons there's godly reasons why you can get divorced but if they're not godly reasons if, they, if they're not good reasons and you're just putting away a wife or a husband 
uh, because you have someone else in mind because maybe uh, whatever reason that is you're not actually carrying out your um, actual commitment to that uh, wife or husband you're not actually carrying out your vows to that wife or husband which you made before God you know I've heard people getting divorced because uh, their wife or their husband is uh, drinking it's not a good enough reason taking drugs it's not a good enough reason um, because these people need care they need the ministered to they need counseled from from the church a lot of the churches these days are not providing uh, the correct amount of support and counsel to the marriages that happen in their churches um, very few are providing the correct support for marriages these days it's a very big commitment a marriage um, it is good to have people around you to, to support one another to support one another's family you know when we have disagreements about the Bible you know try to put it to one side and uh, you know continue in the love of God uh, towards one another but these days people are just uh, falling out with with people for any old thing for wearing the wrong colored top for wearing uh, the wrong branded top or, or whatever it is that's not a good enough reason to divorce another believer from the community and it's not a good enough reason to divorce a wife a, you know a spouse <laughs> a husband or a wife you know th there's got to be reasons why Christians do not fellowship together and they got to be godly um, if they're not godly reasons God looks upon uh, these people as adulterous, an adulterous generation because they're not following the commandments of God, they're not carrying out what's expected of them, you know, i.e. preaching the word of God, teaching it the correct way. They're just coming up with reasons because uh, somebody's got longer hair than somebody else or, you know, these are small, small reasons. You, 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 they're, they're not enough for to disfellowship or to uh, divorce a wife or husband there's got to be spiritual or physical adultery happening in other words uh, a wife or a husband has got to be going and um, bowing before an idol got to be going and worshipping a different god got to be doing witchcraft got to be involved in something like that and then you can say well I'm going to divorce you unless you repent and turn to Jesus Christ and it's got to be done in front of witnesses as well. Let's say, for example, there's been physical adultery. Uh, let's say, for example, the woman has gone and uh, had sex outside of marriage. So the man's got to bring bring them into the fellowship. You know, there's got to be a, an, an admission of this. There's, there's, the sin happened. There's got to be a chance of repentance, reconciliation. Um, you got to go through that in a godly relationship there's got to be forgiveness um, you know the the wife will give her reasons why uh, why it's happened for example maybe she expects to have sex every night every day and, and the husband's like well it's, I never I never promised you that you know it's not part of the covenant you know uh, you know I might, I'll say well, let's do it every week let's try and do it every week or whatever there could be reasons for it you know there could be reasons for it some people have a si higher sex drive than the, than the other partner you know we, we, we actually talk about being equally yoked this is a spiritual thing to start with but also as a physical you know marriage is a physical thing as well and uh, you know the expectations of the man can be different from what the expectations of the women are and a lot of people go into marriages and without really knowing the person that they're marrying and uh, you know this is why there's such a high divorce rate in the churches so what what you got to do if, 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 if you find out somebody's been divorced and they're going to marry someone else now marriage is a good thing it says in the Bible you know that a man has found favor with the Lord you know when he finds a good wife and so to actually stop that to stop someone from getting a blessing from the Lord is actually a sin uh, and if you're stopping a godly marriage from happening when you don't know this woman's background you don't know her uh, her now I believe she's married now to this man you know uh, to the spouse if you don't know his story if you don't know her story and you just come out with that ah, you can't get married because you've been divorced that's a wrong 
a very wrong teaching so that's definitely threw up a few red flags for me just looking at this last reformation video clearly see a pyramid there false spirits in the church you see a pyramid shape there I don't know if that was intended but we know all about what the pyramid is it's Illuminati and we're getting quite a lot of, lot of uh, anti uh, last reformation videos now coming out so uh, <clears throat> yeah uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not attacking Torben's ministry but what I definitely see is that this is wrong uh, he, he's actually uh, t t taught a wrong thing and uh, and he seems to be uh, changing his uh, approach now to ministry after quite a few of these videos have started coming out you know I, mis I myself met Torben in Dublin I didn't find him such a warm person when I spoke to him uh, maybe because for whatever reasons um, I didn't find him a particularly warm person uh, to speak to but other than that I, I wish I actually prayed for his ministry uh, I, I do pray for them all I prayed for them all last year you know when Torben was going through that very very hard time I was actually praying for him and uh, you know the Lord was gracious to him so I think you should remember that that um, you know my Messiah teaches that when we meet other believers we should uh, extend our peace to them pray for them and that's what I always do a lot of the time believers turn on me believers um, are very cold towards me that's up to them because I'll do my part you know as a brother uh, saying that I was attacking the LGB community I was was not doing that I was actually saying that God so loved the world but you know he gave his only begotten son for them and they got to repent of their sin they got to repent you know LGBT same-sex marriage is counted as adultery in the Ten Commandments very much in the Ten Commandments you know read the book of Jude read Romans 1 read Deuteronomy 23 about uh, you know uh, men trying to become women and so on is this a sin before God very much is a sin and you actually hear of uh, transgenders coming to Christ later on but it's too late because they can't be men again after they've uh, had that operation so it's very sad but I still think that their soul can be saved when they turn and repent to God and it's very very important to realize that there's no salvation without a godly repentance and we must pray for, for, for the Lord's uh, um, mercy and forgiveness to be poured out on our souls uh, so that so that we can come to him in repentance and uh, ask Jesus to be our Lord and Savior and, and to get saved and to be baptized in Yeshua's name in Jesus Christ's name so another thing sadly you know a lot of these ministries online they'll not mention the true name of the Messiah they're very much against the name of Yeshua so that again raises a red flag for me you know the same with uh, uh, the chap there in America uh, Chris Lasala, he's very lax when it comes to naming Yeshua, and that is the that is the Messiah's true name, by the way. And if if you're not comfortable with that name, I reckon you need a deliverance, and I'm the man to do it. And if you got the balls, my friends, Torben, Chris Lasala, you want a deliverance, I'll I'll give you a deliverance. I'll pray for the demons to come out of you that are against uh, the true Messiah of Israel, which you reject. And so, another sort of little red flag for me, if they're rejecting the, the, the true Jewish Messiah, something very wrong here. There's definitely something very wrong. And so I hope this woman uh, can get on with the Lord and serve him, uh, get the false teachers out of her hair. Uh, you know, if, if, there, if there was a, a bad reason, maybe she divorced her husband for a wrong reason, and maybe Torben was right after all, but we don't know until this woman uh, you know answers this here which I just did a minute ago and I started this video I see she just made this video a couple of months ago and so we'll see what happens and I'll, I'll give you an update about this video so I salute you in Yeshua's name stay blessed